Hey, hey, floppy head adventurers. It's an exciting day. Get ready to explore the world-renowned Galapagos Islands. Located off the coast of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean, the Galapagos Islands, best known for their connection to Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution, are lands filled with exotic creatures that exist nowhere else in nature. My tour, arranged by Green Adventures Active Holidays, promised exceptional beauty and unmatched island charm, and they certainly did not disappoint. This is how they welcome us to the airport. Well, here I am on Baltra Island. We just arrived at the Galapagos Island. And what do you know it's a desert? Take a look. Well, I'm on the bus. We're on our way to the island where we're gonna stay. Look at these precious guys just chilling here on the dock. Oh, they don't care, the people. on the way to the beach. Look at this water. Upon reaching port, my first guide, Franklin, greeted me. Hey, <laughs> Franklin! <laughs> to head to a popular swimming hole. Once we arrived, two giant cliff faces towered over us on each side. Franklin tells me that Seawater bubbles up from underground and makes its way a mile inland to the hole. I observed sea lions just about everywhere. Somebody should be giving these guys a tip. And as I looked over the dock, sharks and other marine wildlife swam about. Well, after a busy day, I made it back to the hotel. Wow, it's amazing here. So, with this being said, we're gonna go ahead and have dinner. Which was a delicious fried fish ball with butter lettuce and crispy plantains followed by a caramel cream and butter crunch ice cream dessert. Yum. I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. Day two. Talk to you soon. Good morning. It's seven in the morning. Welcome to day two on the Galapagos Islands. After a full day of travel, getting settled, excursions and dinner, it's bright and early on day two, and we're ready for adventure. We're on the boat. On our way to Isabella Island. Day one included a short trip from Baltra Island to the city of Puerto Ayora on Isla Santa Cruz. But day two promised a far more rigorous journey to the city of Puerto Villamil on Isla Isabella, which is the largest island in the archipelago. It's gonna be a nice ride. The ride consisted of two hours across choppy waters under windy gray skies. More than a couple people looked utterly miserable, but nothing could take away the rush I got from the realization that I was traveling across this historic, world-renowned island chain. Well, we've arrived at Isabella Island. Upon arrival, I met my guide for the day. As it turns out, the tour would include a different guide for each day's excursions. It was great, as I would get many different perspectives on island life, from locals who have lived there for generations. How long have you been a guide here? I was one of the first guides. Day two started out with excursions to Pink Flamingo Breeding Grounds and a Galapagos Turtle Sanctuary. Later in the day, I met my third guide, who does a great seal impression. He took us on a walk across a landscape of wildlife, lava rock, and stunning scenery. Marine iguana, which have no natural predators on the islands, were everywhere. But we weren't done yet. Next, we hopped on a boat and cruised the bay, observing blue-footed boobies, which are found only on this particular island and nowhere else in the world. They would swoop gracefully over the waves before shooting like torpedoes into the water as they hunted for sardines. It was an impressive sight. We also came across rays and equatorial penguins. In another nature exclusive, not only is the Galapagos penguin endemic to the islands, it is the only place in the world where penguins inhabit land on the equator. 
Finally, in what may be the best way to cap off a day full of adventure, we donned wetsuits, masks, and snorkels, and jumped into the water. We encountered a wealth of sea life, from sea turtles to sea lions and black tip reef sharks, which prefer crustaceans over humans, don't worry. As the beach darkened, it was time for dinner and bed. I need to get a lot of rest as I prepare to spend eight hours climbing a volcano on day three. Stay tuned for that episode coming up next. <laughs> <laughs>